Shane Rave. I am uh, talking with Mr. Eric Bell. He is the owner of the David E. Hall Mortuary. And he is our guest this week on uh, Business of the Week. Now, currently, we are filming at the Hendricks County Senior Services Health Fair. And uh, Eric is the sole sponsor of our broadcast for this today. But we're going to talk a little bit about uh, the funeral home in Pittsburgh. First off, how's Eric doing today? Doing great. The humidity's down. Drove the classic cars today. That's Sun true. shining. Visiting with a lot of friends here in the uh, senior fair. So wonderful day. We're going to talk about your classic car in the second segment of uh, our interview, which was actually recorded at a different time. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Whole different amusing story there. Right. The miracle of technology. <laughs> but... Uh, we're going to talk a little bit about uh, the funeral home. How long have you had uh, been the owner of the David A. Hall Mortuary? Just over a year now. I uh, took over the funeral home from Mr. Hall in June of last year, and uh, so we've just had our year anniversary, and we're enjoying serving our community now. Yeah. Let's talk now. That's one of the reasons you're here. Let's talk about the importance of community and, and what it means to you in Pittsburgh. Yeah, it means a huge amount to me. The community has embraced us with open arms, and we are anxious to give back. We've uh, made significant investments in the funeral home uh, to enhance our family's comfort and our community's uh, pride in the mortuary. And so we've been very blessed. We live in the county. My wife is a Hendricks County native and I'm a Clinton County native. Uh, she went to Danville and I went to Frankfurt. I am a hot dog. <laughs> so we played Tri-West quite a bit. So we're very familiar with all the county schools. Okay. Now talk about uh, a little bit about the history of the David A. Hall Mortuary. It's not something you just dreamed up one night and no, decided I to didn't. give it a different name. Yeah, I didn't come up with uh, <laughs> these names on my own. But it's over 100 years old. It was started by the McConaughey family. And then it was taken over by their children, the Gregories. Uh, Mrs. Gregory was a McConaughey. And then David Hall bought the funeral home from the Gregory family in 1978 and changed the name to the David A. Hall Mortuary in 1979. Mm -hmm. So he owned it until 2017 when I took over. And it's still the David A. Hall Mortuary for right now. Yeah, and now there's been lots of different, I mean, lots of uh, services available through David Hall all up until this time. But now you're carrying on that same tradition and maybe even more, right? Yeah, Mr. Hall's uh, focus was always service first, and we are a very service oriented funeral home. Uh, we go the extra mile to ensure that whatever people's wishes are, uh, we meet them. And no request is too great or too small for us. And it's very important that during this time we help everybody say farewell in the proper way. Yeah, exactly. Uh, folks want more information, there's a website, right? Yeah, it's very easy. It's davidahallmortuary.com. <laughs> uh, Convenient. Yeah, it's very, very easy. We also have a Facebook page where we have over 500 followers. Uh, we post all our obituaries are available there. And the tradition at the funeral has always been we, we have the light on the porch when someone's in our care. And then their name is also on the sign uh, so they're able to know who's passed away in town. So we've carried on with all those traditions, even through the renovations. And um, the porch has become a kind of a point of discussion for our community. We visit with friends out there and uh, stop by any time and visit with us. Yeah. Now, you, uh, David Hall, before you took over, was a sponsor of uh, our news for years, even on their old uh, XRB AM station. And then when, uh, for the folks who are watching this, when you took over, uh, we talked for the first time last fall, and you said, yeah, definitely, I want to be a part of this. And you, you saw the importance of uh, the community radio station. Right. Well, you are the voice of Hendricks County, so we appreciate you telling people to come to us and let us serve their families. But uh, seriously, it is important for us to sponsor very uh, intimate and important businesses that are very well involved in our county, and we appreciate being able to continue the sponsorship of the news. Absolutely. Once again, what's the number folks can call 24-7? 317-892-4242. Rings directly into my cell phone at least 95% of the time, so I answer the phones all the time. No question is too big, too small. Just call and we can help. Okay, you got it. Now, in the next segment, we're going to talk about Eric's classic cars, and uh, you'll find that pretty interesting. So if you're into cars, you're into classic cars, you're going to like this. We're back now. I'm talking with Eric Bell. He is the owner of the David E. Hall Mortuary in Pittsburgh. Now, one thing uh, that he mentioned in the previous part of the interview that you may not have heard or really caught, but guess what? Eric is a classic car guy, and we're going to show you some pictures of his classic car here in just a bit. But first, tell us what it is and what all about it. 
This is a 1955 Buick Roadmaster, a model 76R. The R stands for Riviera, uh, so it's a Riviera hardtop, uh, what they would call a hardtop convertible sort of look. Uh, it's uh, a production run of about 28,000 cars. It was built in Arlington, Texas and brought up to Indiana in 2004. I bought it off the gentleman that brought it to Indiana and we've done considerable work to it over the last uh, 10 years or so. It's uh, a wonderful car. It's the classic car I always wanted when I was a kid, and so we finally have one. Now, what sparked it? I mean, did you did someone in your family have one? What made you say, man, I want one of those? My grandpa did have a 1955 Buick. It was a special four-door, but um, I it didn't really have any significance in my pursuit of this car. I saw a burgundy and a white one uh, when I was younger, and it just love at first sight when it comes to cars. Yeah. Yeah, I know exactly how you feel. It's kind of what happened with me. So, tell us what's uh, what you got under the hood, and um, anything like is this an automatic? Is this a three-speed on the tree? This car is bone stock, and I've worked hard to put it back to everything perfect as the uh, factory was, uh, which was imperfect at the time. <laughs> <laughs> but it has a, a 322 V8. It's called a nailhead V8 because mm -hmm. the uh, the. Uh, engine has kind of a vertical look to it that's where the nail head comes from and actually the uh, valves are very small like the size of nails but that's <laughs> kind of way down in the weeds about cars but it has a, a dynaflow transmission which a lot of people call the dyna leak or the dyna slow <laughs> yeah. and it is a very slow transmission it doesn't shift so it's like a power glide transmission ah. yeah all right now that's not the only one you have you also have a classic hearse, right? Yes, we have a 1948 Packard hearse we used at the funeral home. Right now it's having a new radiator made, so it hasn't been out this summer. And <laughs> the local Packard mechanic was a little backed up, so we're, uh, <laughs> we're having that worked on. How often do you get to show these? Uh, I at least do this show every Friday, first Friday, which is a wonderful time. Uh, I tend to like cruise-ins better than I like car shows right. because you can come and go, and since I'm on call all the time, it helps to be able to be able to leave easily. Yeah. All right. Well, we'll uh, we got some pictures of that. We're showing those, and uh, if, if folks, uh, you like conversing with other car guys, right? Oh, I love it. I love the uh, the friendliness of other car guys, the community, and uh, car gals too. I don't want to leave yeah. them out. And so we have a lot of time, and it's uh, a lot of friendliness and chat and interesting stories about cars, and you always learn something new every evening you're out here. There you go. Do you have pictures of that on your Facebook page sometimes? Yes. Yeah, I think there is uh, well, on my personal page for certain. I'm not sure if we have anything on the funeral home page, but I think there is of the Packard, so okay. you'll have to, tell, have to look through there. All right. You can look on Facebook, David E. Hall Mortuary, and see pictures of the Packard, and then maybe even the Buick, too, so uh, check that out. For Business of the Week with Eric Bell, owner of David E. Hall Mortuary, I'm Shane Ray.